How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I wanted to quickly talk about nine things you want to consider when choosing a VPN. Uh, okay, so let's get straight into it. Of course, if you guys are interested, though, in any of these VPNs, you'll find all the links you need for reviews and discounts in the description down below uh, if you want to jump straight to that. Now, the first reason is that you want to figure out why you need a VPN. So, for example, in this specific case, these are the top three VPNs, which is why I like to recommend them for uh, pretty much everyone, really, because they all vary in budgets and features. They do have something for everybody. Uh, so this is why I like to kind of um, recommend them at all times for friends and family. They will cater to 99% of the VPN user base. Starting with ExpressVPN, for example, it focuses heavily on anonymity and privacy, and it works the best for China. So let's say you're a journalist and you're just concerned about anonymity, or you're living in a censorship heavy country and you want the best VPN to bypass censorship firewalls, ExpressVPN will be just that. If you're looking for a VPN that gives you a whole bunch of bonus features with a lot of performance and security, NordVPN does not compromise on near anything and it's just an overall very well-rounded VPN and I recommend it to everybody but if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without really sacrificing any of the premium features then Surfshark will do just that so figure out why you need a VPN and then get that but you know at the end of the day if you're just looking to unblock streaming services or torrent safely all of these will work just fine it all comes down to preference Okay, now the second thing is that make sure your VPN has strong security and privacy features, and all of these VPNs do. They have the 256, the AES 256 bit military grade encryption. They have leak protection and a kill switch. And of course, the kill switch, if you're not familiar with it, will kill your internet connection in case the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, preventing any unintentional leaks. They all have a great set of security protocols. They have a strict no locks policy that's audited privacy policy jurisdiction. So they're all outside the 5, 9, and 14 eyes jurisdiction. And they have extra security features, uh, especially with Nord and Surfshark right here, such as obfuscated servers, Onion over VPN, double VPN, so on and so forth. The third thing to consider is that you need a VPN with good speeds. So all these VPNs are super quick. You just want to make sure they're using the best performing protocol. That'll be the lightweight UDP protocol with ExpressVPN. That'll be the Nord Lynx protocol with NordVPN and the WireGuard protocol with Surfshark. The fourth thing to consider is that you want a VPN with a reliable server network. All these VPNs, of course, have very good servers that run on RAMs for extra security. And for example, here, ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, NordVPN with over 5,400 servers in 59 countries, and Surfshark with over 3,200 servers in 99 countries. The fifth thing you want to consider is if your VPN allows for torrenting so that you can torrent to your heart's content and all these VPNs do allow for that. Uh, the other thing you want to consider is that you want to make sure your VPN is easy to set up and use and uh, all of these VPNs will have roughly the same interface no matter what device you're on. They will have roughly the same user interface so um, if you know how to use it on mobile or your desktop you'll be able to use it on any other device. The seventh thing is that you want to look for a VPN with multiple device connections. So again, all these VPNs do vary in device connections. So ExpressVPN will allow for up to five devices for subscription, six with Nord, and virtually an unlimited number of simultaneous connections with Surfshark. So again, as I said earlier, these VPNs have something for everybody, no matter what you're looking for. And the eighth thing is that you want a responsive and knowledgeable customer support. Of course, all these VPNs have 24-7 live chat support they're all knowledgeable and very responsive and the final thing is that you have plenty of payment methods any money back guarantee all these do have a 30-day money back guarantee so you can test drive these vpns for 30 days risk-free otherwise if you're not a hundred percent satisfied you can simply get yourself the refund and with regards to payment methods you have plenty of payment methods whether it's paypal through your credit card 
or cryptocurrencies. Uh, there are plenty of payment methods, so you can select whichever one is actually more convenient to you. So that is pretty much it for this video. Though, if you guys are looking to learn a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features of these VPNs, you'll find the full reviews down below, and you'll also find links to pricing discounts if you want to jump straight to that. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.